slight malfunction. That's not ideal. Okay, we're back. Hello, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something completely different to what I normally do. I'm normally extremely focused on 86 mods and car related stuff, but today we're going to be making a pulse jet. So, I've got a couple of tests here. Uh, the reason being, unfortunately, as much as I've prayed to the car gods, my 86 does not spit mad flames. So, the best way to compensate for my car not doing the pop pops is to, well, have a jar do it. You never know, if I get a bit of spare time in my hands, I might 3D print a pulse jet for my exhaust. Unrealistic dreams aside, today we're going to be doing a simple pulse jet engine. All you need basically is a little glass tub. We've got a couple of tests we're going to do. I've got a bigger container here just to kind of see what kind of heat we're going to get. I've got the methylated spirits just placed nicely next to the exploding stuff. And then once we see if it's actually working and I can get it kind of sussed, I'm going to go online, download a couple of files for some 3D prints and print off my very own pulse jet engine. I've been inspired recently by a couple of YouTubers doing pulse jet videos. One of them kind of has already done a video where he printed off a pulse jet engine. I liked the video, so I thought I might as well give it a go myself. <laughs> For those of you who actually get that reference, well done. <laughs> right, so let's basically show you what's going on with this post jet. As you can see here, I've got like a normal crappy bottle. So the basic concept idea is... Okay, so I'm not a scientist, so I'm not going to go into too much detail here. But basically, as you can see what's happening here is the flame starting from the top and making its way down to the bottom. Now, a general pulse jet works when, when the flame makes it to the bottom, ignites with the liquid and splurts out a load of pressure. Once that pressure's gone, it sucks in a load more air and then repeats the process again, out, in, out, in, out, and makes a pulse, as for why it's called a pulse jet engine. That's basically it. It's as simple as that. So anyway, let's go on to do some tests. Get all the oxygen out of it. Give it a quick mix. Don't know if you heard that, but it actually started up a little bit. So as you can see, there's the fuel source in the bottom there, and then the container and the one hole in the top is the exit valve, and also the air intake. So it's like an exhaust and air intake mixed together. Basically, your air is forced in, and then immediately back out, and then immediately back in again, and that's why it's a pulse jet, because it physically pulses in and out. Now, it can be a bit dangerous, because it can get very warm, but really, it's not that dangerous. I mean, I'm doing it in my bedroom. It's, it's kind of safe. So what you want to do is kind of to help it get started is give it a bit of a mix, and then just light the top. So I don't know if you heard that there, but it did start a bit of a rhythm. So I'm just gonna try experimenting with different size lids and things, and we'll just try lighting it a couple of times and we'll see what happens. See if we can get a kind of rhythm going with it. Ooh, I'm gonna try with a slightly bigger lid now. So I don't think the larger lid's working as well. I think I've gone too big with the diameter. Right, so let's go online and find one that we can print off and test how it works. Right, so I've been on Thingiverse and a couple of other websites and I looked for a couple of different designs and this one definitely seems to be the best. Looking at it, it's pretty simple. It should just work perfectly. I'm gonna test it out obviously, but a lot of the others are designed to have like spark plugs built into them and things. Whereas this one genuinely seems the one that looks the simplest and best to print. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'll tell you how it goes. So obviously all credit for this design goes to Fanco14. The print is right here. The print is right here. This is the print. It's come off quite well, to be honest. It's not done too bad. Now, I did test it out once, but only because it seemed like it was leaking at the bottom. So what I did, and it actually was leaking at the bottom, so what I've done is just grabbed my little pen and just kind of filled it up with my pen. So if you want to download this creation, it might be worth just putting a small layer underneath there. Full credits obviously go to the creator, like I said, and I'm going to leave his link in the description, like I said, as well. So if you want to download this print at home, you can. Ooh, I'm actually going to switch the lights off because it seems to be quite bright. Whoa, that was a strange sound. Right, another test. Ooh, yeah, it's a little bit drippy. So my, my, my little bodge job fix wasn't really working too well. But, you know, it's my own fault, so... If the creator is watching the video and he has any tips for how to improve the success rate, uh, definitely leave them in the comments because I'd love to hear it. Oh! Now it always says online to surround it by a bit of water, but I found it works a lot better when not surrounded by water, just through the tests that I've been doing. Whoa, that were a big flash. I'm just gonna keep on burning through these here. I reckon we can get this thing pulsing. So the jam jar does seem to be doing a very good job in comparison. I mean, this is a mustard jar, I think, is it? English. This is a mustard jar, not a jam jar. Now I do have a jam jar downstairs, and what I'm gonna do actually is tonight when it gets a little bit darker, I'm gonna do another test with that jam jar. It's slightly bigger, so it might work a bit better. And it's fair to say, it definitely did work a bit better. Thank <laughs> you. 
it to blow it out. It's on the way. Yeah, then. I think it broke it. Anyway, that wraps up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it very interesting. See you later. So why is it so